Yeah, there was a car accident right here on Wantabo and Southern Boulevard. Three car accidents. Anyone injured? As a police traffic investigator, your day just started with that call. Traffic accident investigations start with you, the first responder. Where will your investigation take you? Depositions? Civil trials? Criminal court trials? Your investigation will be highly scrutinized, and you know it. Collection of evidence, factual diagrams, mathematical analysis, all part of your endeavor to determine what and or who caused the collision. Some of the questions that inevitably arise are more difficult to answer than others. Technology has evolved that make answering some of the more difficult questions a lot easier. That technology is EDR data, retrieved with the Bosch Crash Data Retrieval Tool. The Crash Data Group Premium CDR Toolkit was specifically designed for law enforcement and contains everything you need to retrieve EDR data when you need it. Many jurisdictions allow collection of evidence, including EDR data, from the scene of the collision without a search warrant. With the Premium Toolkit, you will have all the equipment you need to retrieve the data at the scene, regardless of the condition of the vehicle. So what is EDR data? EDR, or Event Data Recorder. It is a function that exists primarily within airbag control modules installed in motor vehicles to record technical vehicle and occupant information for a brief period of time before, during, and after a crash. So what information can you retrieve from an EDR? Most late model vehicles on the road today contain at least five seconds of pre-crash data that includes vehicle speed, delta V, brake status, throttle position, steering input, seatbelt status, occupant detection, and more. So how do you get this data, and how can you use it in your investigations? EDR data is obtained using the Bosch Crash Data Retrieval Tool. EDR data can be accessed and imaged through the vehicle's DLC port or by connecting directly to the airbag control module. To image data through the DLC port, power from the car's battery needs to be available and in most cases you need the ignition key to power up the applicable systems where the data is stored. If the car's battery, electrical system, or wiring harnesses have been compromised by collision damage or by the evidence eradication team, you will need to connect directly to the airbag control module. Airbag control modules vary by auto manufacturers and come in many shapes and sizes. As such, each ACM requires a specific connection cable to image the data. Direct-to-module imaging can be done while the ACM is mounted in a vehicle or it can be removed from a vehicle and imaged from a benchtop. It should be noted that the Bosch CDR tool does not and cannot alter, erase, or manipulate the data in any way. It simply images or copies the data from the EDR and generates a report containing the data. Use of EDR data greatly strengthens the validity and accuracy of traditional accident investigation methodologies and gives a more detailed, unbiased look at what was happening prior to impact. Speed from skid, conservation of momentum, or speed from crush studies are used to determine speed of vehicles at impact, but often leave questions unanswered as to what was happening prior to impact. What was the speed of the vehicle five seconds prior to impact? Was the vehicle accelerating at some point? If and when were the brakes applied? Was there any steering input prior to impact? EDR data can answer those questions and more. EDR data can be used to determine who hit whom first in an inline chain reaction crash. Hit and run cases involving parked unattended vehicles? Was it really parked and stationary when the collision occurred? Question answered with EDR data. Suspect a driver switch before police arrived at the scene? Many vehicles contain EDR data with seat position and weight classification sensors that can provide insight as to the physical size of the driver at the time of the collision. Agency liability? Whether it be a city-involved vehicle crash or claim of improper road design, EDR data greatly improves your ability to answer questions other than just speed at impact, helping your agency's attorney defend against frivolous lawsuits. Use of EDR data in criminal prosecution and civil trials has become standard practice throughout the country. Many DAs and prosecutors have become well aware of the value of EDR data when prosecuting cases involving vehicle collisions and demand the data be obtained prior to issuing a case. They know that if EDR data is available, the defense will have it. As first responders, you have the ability to get the data first, 
apply it to your investigation, and be certain that you won't be surprised in court with information you hadn't considered. The Crash Data Group Premium CDR Toolkit contains every piece of currently available CDR hardware and a CDR software subscription. Your cases are often time sensitive, whether it be a driver in custody with the arraignment clock ticking, a high profile case, or potential agency liability, you will have the equipment on hand to image the EDR data regardless of the condition of the car. Technology of the future is here. Independent market research has proven EDR data to be one of the most reliable sources of evidence for vehicle crash investigation. EDR data and the Bosch Crash Data Retrieval Tool. Are you using it? For more information on the Bosch CDR tool and the entire CDR product line, visit CrashDataGroup.com.